Hi, my name is Paul Peacock and I'm the author of How to Make Your Own Cheese. I get asked lots of questions about how to make cheese and in particular what kinds of milk you need to make cheese in the first place. In order to be able to answer that question we need to have a quick think about what it is in milk that makes cheese. Milk consists of sugar, liquids, some fat and two kinds of protein. One's called albumin that's found in the white of an egg and the other one is called casein and it's that's the one that we're after. Casein looks a little bit like your hand. It's got sticky fingers and when the milk becomes more acidic these fingers become very sticky and they'll stick to another molecule of casein to form curds in your cheese and we use rennet in order to speed up that process. Now when one molecule of casein sticks to another one, the hole in the middle is filled with fat and that's what gives you really full flavoured cheese. Now let's have a look at some milks. In the UK we call this plain milk or blue top milk and it's full fat between two and a half and four percent fat. Ideal for making cheese, this is the one that you get the best flavoured cheese from. However, we do get asked, can we make cheese from skimmed or semi-skimmed milk? Yes, you can. The skimming just removes the fat. This is still quite a bit of casein in there. You can get that to set with rennet and therefore you can make cheese. Perhaps not quite as flavoursome as full fat milk, but it's cheese nonetheless. Similarly, goat's milk. Now we've all bought goat's cheese from the supermarket and you'll notice that on the whole it's either crumbly or soft and that's because the casein in here is not quite as powerful as the casein in cow's milk. It's not quite as much of it and the fingers, there aren't quite so many fingers on it either. So it's harder to get this to set. You need a little bit more rennet, you need a little bit longer time, but set it does and you can make excellent cheese. If you want to make a harder goat's cheese then it's probably a good idea to mix some goat's milk with some cow's milk and that's done quite a lot commercially. We do get from time to time people wondering if we can make cheese from artificial milk. This is coconut milk, fantastic in curries, hopeless in cheese. There is no casein in here, you can't get it to set, so therefore it won't make curds, it won't make cheese, and that goes for soya milk and any of the other artificial milks. This is brilliant for other uses in the kitchen, not for cheese. The other question we get is about this stuff. This is ultra heat treated milk. Unfortunately, the heating process that creates UHT milk actually breaks off some of the fingers in the molecule of casein and therefore it finds it more difficult to link with other molecules of casein. So to get any kind of curd with this is very very difficult and it is not recommended you waste all of your rennet trying to make it work and frankly it won't. For me the best milk, full fat milk. But you pay your money and you take your choice.